Since 2002, the College of Human Sciences at Auburn University has been home to the university's permanent, year-round, overseas campus, offering all Auburn students a unique opportunity to live in Ariccia, Italy, and study the Italian culture through lectures and travel. The uh, structure of the program is based on the, the Grand Tour, that, which was popular in the 1700s, where educated men and women would end their formal education with a trip around Europe to visit the places and sites that they had studied and become a little bit more worldly and knowledgeable of those sites. So we call this the 21st century Grand Tour. We study all aspects of a culture. We study what makes a culture interesting, the language, the food, the design, art, the architecture, as well as the family structure and all the social issues both within Italy and internationally as well. During a typical week, students have lectures on Mondays and Wednesdays and take field trips around the country on Tuesdays and Thursdays to visit what they discussed in class. One of the things I was most worried about coming was just being homesick because I've never really been out of my comfort zone. I'm from Alabama, I go to Auburn, which I love the South, but I've never been out of it before. And so coming here, I was really nervous about being homesick, but the program's great because we're so busy. I just really haven't had time to think about it, which has been really nice. Students live and attend class in the Palazzo Chigi, a 17th century landmark in Ariccia, designed by the prominent Italian architect Bernini. The palace is a public museum now, but it had been a residence for the noble Kiji family for generations. To accommodate Auburn's study abroad program, a section of the palace was renovated in 2009 to create a gathering space, kitchen, classroom, and living quarters for 20 students. Francesco Petrucci, who was known throughout Europe for his knowledge of Bernini and Baroque art, teaches the history of architecture. I believe that the campus of Bariccia for students of Auburn is a unique opportunity to sharpen their sensitivity to the beauty and knowledge of the past. I think that it's the only foreign university in Italy who has the privilege to study and stay in an old castle, which once belonged to a prestigious family of Italian nobility, preserved in its decor. Students can in fact participate in our activities, concerts, shows, ex exhibitions and other things, and uh, live in contact uh, with the castle and the population of Ariccia. Living in a historic building in Ariccia makes it easy for students to become immersed in the community and culture. I love going into the Italian culture and actually being a part of this community and especially reach it. It's such a small town and I think one of my favorite things to do is go to the little grocery store down this uh, main corso and uh, this is a little wife and husband and I get to talk to them and really dive into their culture and he even corrects me if I say it wrong. It's really fun and I think it's a great way that they purposely put us in a reach it so that this community can help us grow, really become cultured. Field trip destinations include stops from the Grand Tour, such as Florence, Rome, and Pompeii, as well as locations like Assisi, birthplace of St. Francis, and Cevita di Bangiareggio, a tiny village only accessible by a long walkway that spans a deep ravine. You definitely get to see the whole country, not just one part of Italy. We're going to, every week we go to a new place basically. And so that's really exciting for me, not just being in Rome, but being in Florence and Assisi, anywhere that you might not even consider going. Our program has already thought of that and it's so well prepared that you can come into it not knowing even where you are and they will take you to a whole new place the next week and you'll feel right at home. I think this trip is awesome in the fact that you have classes and you learn like you would in a normal classroom, but then you go the next day and you see with your own eyes what you just learned about. So it's very hands-on and you really get immersed in the culture when you go on all the different field trips every week. The program is led by Linda Kane Ruth, who lives year-round in Ariccia, and by many local experts. Mary Lou Gray, a South African native whose husband, Marco Antonini, helped bring Auburn to Ariccia in 2002, teaches Italian cooking. The instructor for survival Italian is Lainey Dakin, a former graduate student. She moved to Italy a year after earning her degree. 
Mary Lou and Marco's son, Maurizio Antonini, is the resident director, working closely with Linda Ruth to ensure each week is a culturally enriching experience. Maurizio and his wife, Rosella Di Venuto, also serve as lecturers. Cenzia Broccolente is the big sister to the students, chaperoning field trips and taking them to the doctor when necessary. Roberta Londi, a former docent at the museum, is the program coordinator. The Joseph S. Bruno Auburn Abroad in Italy program is offered through the College of Human Sciences, but students from all majors across campus are encouraged to apply. What it does when they get to Italy is provides this rich interdisciplinary group of students that are coming from different academic backgrounds. And so the discussion just becomes so much richer and so much more informative and insightful. I think it's one of the best aspects of this program is that the interdisciplinary nature reflects what they're gonna experience when they get into the real world. The summer of 2013 marked the first time a student from outside Auburn University joined in Auburn's unique program. It's different being the only student from a different university, but it's also very exciting to be the first one so I can tell people about it because it's not just apparel design students, it's political science, it's health and nutrition, and we do a lot of different classes and we travel a lot of different places, so it could be great for a lot of different students. With numerous three-day weekends, students take advantage of the proximity to the rest of Europe. The Auburn Abroad program offers optional pre-planned trips to Italian cities such as Venice and Positano. Otherwise, students can travel on their own beyond Italy to places such as Paris, London, Dublin, Barcelona, and Amsterdam. Last weekend, we went to Paris for three days. We had three full days in Paris. And on Saturday, we did all of Paris in one day. And I'm also going on a cruise to Greece, Croatia, and Turkey. And we're doing the optional field trips to Positano and Cinque Terre. I'm really excited about Cinque Terre because of the overlook of the entire city, which I've always seen. For Auburn students, their participation in the study abroad experience is one of two ways to earn an international minor in human sciences. I've become even more convinced through the years that an international experience is absolutely critical for all students actually, but students in the College of Human Sciences in particular. My perspective is that the more we can help students open their minds and broaden their worldviews, that this is going to serve them well wherever they go, helping them to understand different people in different cultures. And I think that it becomes a foundation to actually build for the greater good in our society. Well, I think the world is becoming so global today that an international minor is really beneficial. And so as a political science major, yes, will I be living in a foreign country? Probably not, but still, um, you're gonna have interactions with people from different backgrounds than yourself every day. So it's really important, I think, to be able to go into the job market knowing that you can interact on a different level with someone. War Eagle!